Hey there, Caitlin here, Snap and Nutrition Educator in Waldo County, Maine. Today we're going to take peanut butter beyond the realm of PB&J and we're going to make a peanut sauce. Now this is awesome on anything. I love this peanut sauce. So we're going to start our peanut sauce with, you guessed it, some peanut butter. Then I'm going to add a little bit of warm water just from the tap, not too much, maybe like two tablespoons at most. And this is just going to help thin out the peanut butter so that the sauce has a better consistency once we add the rest of our yummy tasty ingredients. So give that a good whisk. I didn't make you watch the full like two minutes of me whisking it. It does take some time. <laughs> Once you get a nice uh, thin consistency and the peanut butter seems pretty evenly spread out, we're going to go in with some sesame oil. This adds to the rich roasty toasty flavor. We're going to add some five spice, some oriental five spice, Chinese five spice, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's nice and warm and toasty. Speaking of warm, we're going to add some red chili flakes. Now, I want this to have a kick, so I added quite a few. Then we're going to go in with some garlic. Classic. Can't skip it. Then we're going to add a little ginger. I just had dried ginger on hand, so it was easier, but you can add ginger paste, too. That's uh, really yummy. And then I'm going in with some agave. You can add honey. You can add whatever kind of sweetener you want. I just suggest going with a liquid sweetener because it helps... Uh, with the consistency. Then we're going in with a little salt and pepper. You could skip the salt and do soy sauce if you wanted or fish sauce. You can make it your own. Um, but I didn't want the color to get too dark this time because I was going to have it with um, some bright vegetables as a salad dressing. When you stir it up this way, I love this as like a sauce for meat, as a dipping sauce for spring rolls, a dip for veggies, um, but I'm going to add a little bit of lime juice this time. This is totally optional. It's another way to just kind of add a little flair to the peanut sauce. Um, I like it this way as a salad dressing, as a coleslaw dressing. It's really good. It's good as a marinade. Uh, the acid kind of helps tenderize a little bit. And there we have it, our perfect peanut sauce. And then the leftovers I used as a stir fry with some ground chicken and some snap peas. Super simple, super versatile. Don't forget to be creative. Make it your own. If you want more silly videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, don't forget to have fun with it, and head to mainsnapad.org for more. And while you're there, don't forget to sign up for text messages that you'll get weekly to help you shop, cook, and eat healthy on a budget. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.